In this video, we're going to jump in the lab together and learn what we can about match defense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video of mine. Now if you're new to the channel, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you want to become better alongside of me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe and research has shown me that only 40% of you guys that are watching have actually subscribed. And so what that means is 60% of you guys are missing video after video that I do that is important for your development as a Madden player because we dive into defensive schemes, offensive schemes, pro player breakdowns, film studies, game plays, mutt lineup um, spreads, and different things like that. So if you want to get better at this game, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Now today what we're doing is we are going to dive into match defense a little bit more and we're going to be talking about a specific type of match defense that you could run out of the 3-3-5 wide formation. There's really two that we're going to talk about today uh, if we have time. We're going to talk first and foremost about the Cover 4 Show 2, and then we're going to talk about the Mike Blitz 3. Now, the, the Cover 4 Show 2 is kind of a hidden uh, a hidden gem in the 3-3-5 wide defense. And really quickly, the reason that we want to do that, the reason we want to run 3-3-5 wide and 3-3-5 normal, is because it allows us to get the best personnel possible on the field at all times. We could put corners at safety and then we can put our safeties at the linebacker position allowing us to get the most speed that we possibly can have on the field so you're going to see here i'm going to go ahead and sub all these guys in now the one important thing that you need to know about match coverage it's one of the biggest drawbacks in my opinion to it is that you cannot run it on the field like you can't uh reset as you see here it says during pre-play return zone drops to the default by using the reset play audible or the sticks feature Unfortunately, that does not reset match coverage. So what that means is if I put these on 30 and then I get out into the game and I reset the play, it doesn't change the zone drops. They stay at 30 yards, unfortunately. So uh, we need all of these on default, okay? Option defense on conservative, ball in air defense to play ball, and then I leave these two on their default uh, deal. Now the defense we're going to be going over again, like I said, is the, the cover four drop. And the, what we're going to run it against is kind of one of the, just a couple meta formations. One of them being the gun bunch. And I'm going to grab um, a couple of different types of plays that I know you're going to see uh, out of the gun bunch if you run this at all. And we're going to start with Z spot and then we're going to kind of work through uh, some, other, some other concepts. So we're going to go over Z spot and then we'll go over some other stuff as well. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to audible from this to cover four, show two. And the first thing that we're going to do on this is do my favorite adjustment out of any match coverage, for especially a cover four, and that's to take this blitzing linebacker right here, uh, Whitehead, and we're going to put him on a bluff blitz. What that's going to do is it's going to turn him into a three rack, and that allows me to use her in the middle of the field with Winfield. I'm just going to throw him on a deep blue zone just so that we can kind of watch how the defense plays. And then we're just going to start with a little bit of a three down lineman rush. Now the first setup we're going to go over is the meta setup from Bunch right now. It's this um, essentially this corner route to Godwood uh, with the streak of Gronkowski. So let's take a look at how this works and how this plays. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job. Pretty much everything's taken away. Um, you have to obviously, you know, essentially run on the playmaker drag or something like that. Also, another thing that most people don't know about match coverage is match coverage actually does a decent job against playmaker routes. Now, really quickly before I dive any further into this, if you want to get my full 335 wide defensive guide, that link is in the description of this video. It goes through exactly how to run the best defense in Madden 21. So if you want to get that link, that's in the description. And also, if you want to get a free sample, or if you have any Madden questions at all, you can always text me. My number's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Okay, so that's going to be kind of our default adjustment. And really what we're going to try to do, and when I run any match coverage, um, what I'm trying to figure out is what's going to break the coverage, right? What route combo will break this coverage? So another combo that a lot of people like is this right here, right? You see this all the time. You'll see uh, a drag like this and then a crosser. So let's just take a look at how this plays uh, in, this, in this thing. And as you see, it does pretty good. I mean, the, the one thing is that crosser does, um, like if my user wasn't in the middle of the field, and that's the one thing that we got to watch out for. But if you take a look here, uh, what you're going to notice is, you know, and the beauty of this is it looks exactly like a blitz that you could run from 335 wide, uh, which is really, really cool. But if I take my user, and let's just say I put my user in a hook curl, okay? Let's just say I put him in the middle of the field. Now what I want you to do is I want you to watch this same setup where I put the crosser out there, and then maybe I do something like this right here. Now watch the setup on the field. You should see that I can hit this streak over the top of the defense, as you can see right there, one play touchdown-esque. 
Okay, so one of the things that you have to understand mentally as you're running this defense is if you're running this, you have to know that that can beat you. You have to know that that can beat you. And so one of the things that I like to do most out of this, I'll do two things, right? Typically, I'll, I can always cross bib this linebacker if I wanted to. So if I wanted, to, if I have one player that's a problem, then I will cross man. So I'll give you another setup in which this makes a lot of sense to cross man this um, this outside receiver in the bunch. So let's say that they run something like the play bench pivot, and they streak Antonio Brown, and they do this setup right here, right? Watch Antonio Brown once again. As long as there are three vertical routes, you see here, I mean, this time they do a good job. The match coverage does a good job. But he can sometimes get over the top of that on that play as well. So the reason I say that is it might be a smart idea to man up Antonio Brown as he seems to be one of the primary problems um, that we will encounter when we're running this defense. Let me show you another popular setup out of Gun Bunch, and that is the uh, flood play. So we're going to do our same kind of thing here, uh, and then we're going to go to the play uh, flood. And take a look at this. We're going to do the motion out streak, and as you can see, you know, pretty much everything's taken away. Obviously, this out route is there, but pretty much everything else is taken away. Now, one little question that I might have is, and now this is where you can start getting adjusted with your match coverage. So, for example, I could do this to get, keep the three wreck on the field because we only really need two people blitzing. Um, and then I could have this guy in his own. And then I could take this guy, Whitehead, and I can man him up on whoever could be the problem. As of right now, the number one problem with the bunch is actually the outside receiver. So if I run the play flood, watch here, we got cross man on him. And now if you take a look here, unfortunately that outside quarter does not come down. So what that tells me is, you know, that's not a complete, you know, it's not completed um, exactly the way we want it to go. Because what we really want to happen is we want this three wreck to open up and to take that out route or the the route to the running or the route to the tight end, and it does do that, um, but it only does that if they don't motion out. If they do motion out um, of circle here, so like if they do a motion snap, that doesn't work anymore. Now another play that we're going to test here is clear out us. Yeah, this is one of the plays that I think is going to be one of the main problem plays, as you can see right here. Um, it does beat it as long as, unless you have him manned up. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If we head back over here um, to this cover four show too, and that's why you have to be a little careful uh, of when you call this and what you do with your adjustments. Let's just not put that guy in man coverage on that circle receiver, and I just want you to watch what's going to happen. So I'm just calling clear at us, out. I'm literally not going to make a single adjustment. Just watch what happens. You should see Antonio Brown is going to have pretty good chance at getting over the top of this defense, as you can see right there, and goes for a pretty big game. Okay, that's that's something that you have to be aware of when you're running this against bunch. And the biggest reason why is because of the bunch. If they are wide, if they were wide receivers, meaning they weren't compressed like that you probably wouldn't have that big of an issue with it. But because they're bunched together, that's where it creates a problem. Another little tip with this, if you wanted to turn this, turn this in even better of a cover four quarters beater, if you put Godwin on a corner route or an out route, either one of those things, and let's just put him on a corner route here, you'll see here that this, this thing will kill uh, this to the outside. You see here as the outside pass, they click on, and I can get that. I mean, I didn't get there because Brady doesn't have a strong enough arm, but hopefully you saw that the angle was open to throw that against cover four quarters. So now you've got some real problems, some real challenges that you need to deal with. So a couple of things that you can do. One of the things that you can do from cover four quarters, and I know not very many people would like this suggestion, but I actually think it makes a lot of sense, especially in light of if you're facing gun bunch, right? If you're facing gun bunch, remember we have a couple of players that we can hot route and make adjustments with. So I can take this guy right here whitehead and I can always man him up on circle now the reason the only reason that that wouldn't work is if for whatever reason uh, any other player could beat the cover four quarters but I don't think that they can and let me show let me prove it to you so uh, clear out us yet to me would be the one area that you could see multiple people beating this so we're just gonna streak Chris Godwin motion out and you'll see here um, this R1 route does beat it, but again, that's your user. That's where your user is going to be on the field. So as you can see, there's some, some challenges with that, but essentially whoever's on the streak, you got to go get. So another adjustment that you could do, and this would solve pretty much all of your problems in one adjustment, is to simply take the safety on the right side of the field because we don't need him necessarily to match. We just need the outside guy to match. 
So if I take this safety and I put him in an inside third, just like that right there, most that's going to get most of everything else. Almost everything that they're going to do, now you've got it covered. Now you've got it covered because, um, and even if I do something like this, like let's say I put, um, let's say I have double flat over here, right? Let's just say it for, for sake of example here. We're going to do something like this coverage. And then we go back to the play clear out SE out that gave us some trouble. I want you to watch Antonio Brown now. Uh, with that outside third, now the window is not really there. I mean, if they have a gunslinger, it might be there. But it's really, really not there. And you can be able to take care of that. Another a setup that was giving us a little bit of trouble was the streak to the slot. And so I want to show you why this, this one adjustment can mean the world when you're facing trips. And you can do it out of trips tied in. You can do it out of bunch. You can do it out of any um, any defense that you want to run. But you'll see here. And again, all this is we're doing trying to do today, guys, is give you some tools to turn match coverage into uh, your favor. We don't want you to be running match coverage if it's not favorable for you. So that motion out again. Now what I want you to do is watch R1. There's nobody covering him, nobody covering him, nobody covering him. But as you can see right there, now there's somebody covering him. That little one, that one little adjustment can can really matter um, for you because he's on the bunch side. It's gonna be it's gonna mean the world for your for your defense. Now I want to go to one last setup that I want to cover, and that is the uh, bench pivot setup that I think people will use to uh, exploit the zone coverage as well. And again, all we're doing is taking that corner uh, Smith and putting him into an outside outside quarter zone. Now, if you wanted to, another thing that you could do, another tool, let me show you one other thing here with this. You could do it from the backside as well. Now, the reason I don't like doing it from the backside as well is it means that you have a little bit more to guard if, for whatever reason, they run a crossing route, right? So if they run a crossing route, I think you have a little bit more to guard if you do this, but you could roll it. So you could roll this corner into the middle, and then you could have Smith you know, in that inside quarter, this would pretty much solve a lot of your challenges because that inside third would roll over. But I personally don't like it as much because if they run across you to the tight end, it should be probably open. But you'll see right here, see how that inside third goes back to it and makes the play on the ball? That's another solution. Um, you know, so you could, do, you could do a couple of those different tactics. Uh, but the reason that I wouldn't do that is there is a setup out of bunch um, that is very popular and people will go to go to this, but basically, uh, what they're gonna do? Let me show you here. And let me just let me just try. I'm not, I'm just gonna put my user on a spy just to get him out of the way. But if you watch, if we put that inside third there, and this is a setup, I think at a Z spot, but they could do something like this, right, right here. And if you watch the tight end, there's nobody that's gonna. I mean, there's no match coverage. It's wide open, as you can see. So if you, that's why I would suggest either deep halfing or inside 30 the safety on the bunch side in a event that you're running this match coverage um, because it's going to definitely help you as far as how you're going to contain stuff another thing that you could do is you could even you if you wanted to you could use her uh, whitehead here uh, and then you could basically you know create this guy into a third and now you've really got it taken care of but Anyway, uh, I want to show you one last thing here. So I just want to show you how this, this will play this. And again, you could either put him in an inside third or you could even put him in an outside half. Either one will work fine for what you're trying to accomplish and will take care of the bomb issue. Um, and then obviously with the, this guy right here, what I would do is I would man him up on circle every single time. Because circle is the only receiver that can get outside on like a vertical stimming or something like that. So I would man him up on the circle receiver. But now what you'll see is let's say that we run the crosser and then we run um, the flood concept. If you watch Gronkowski here, now he's going to get matched across fairly well. Okay, Not as good as we would have liked, but he is going to get matched. Now, in my opinion, you're still responsible for crossers, kind of helping with them a little bit. But all in all, that's a little bit about how to run cover four quarters against Bunch. Um, we're going to continue to dive into some of these matching concepts as we approach the Madden Classic. It's really important for you to understand and grasp some of the fundamentals of how these defenses work so that you can actually apply them when you're facing some of the best offenses in the game. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get the full ebook um, that shows you how to 
basically lock down everybody with all kinds of different zone coverages and man coverages and blitzes and run defenses. That link is in the description, and if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a text message. Or if you want to get the free sample to the 335 wide ebook, that is available via text message as well. It's about an hour long video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And just a quick reminder if you want to get those ebooks or you want to text me, all of that information is in the description of this video.